welcome to example number five of our shapes course. Now this one is probably the most difficult in the whole course because it takes you through a series of um, second inversion triads and you're harmonizing the scale and I'm going to show you lots of different possibilities you can do. So we're actually not going to use a backing track but we're just going to go through each key very slowly to make sure you can start practicing thinking about these second inversion triads. Okay so in our left hand we're just going to do a C uh, octave with our C second inversion triad. So as we harmonize we're going to think about this pattern. It's a second inversion triad. All these are second inversion triads. And you're going to go major minor and then there is a flat seven here so you do flat seven in the scale three and five so major minor flat seven like a c7 without the root right and then it's major then it's minor minor major and major i'll do the pattern again major minor, flat seven, major, minor, minor, major, and major. Now let me tell you um, a couple other options you have. So it's C, D minor, C7, F, G minor, A minor, B flat and C. Now on the top here on this C, I can go chromatically down. Da da dum. And I just went C B B flat. And once I get to this minor, I can go chromatically down. A A flat minor, G minor. Then I'm at, at F seven, C seven, and major again. I'm uh, sorry, major, minor, flat seven, major, minor, minor, major, major. It's a nice pattern there. Okay, now we're going to go up to D flat and do the same thing. D flat triad in second inversion. Major goes to minor, E flat minor. And then the seventh, you have the flat seven, the three, and the fifth note of D flat. And then we said major, and then minor, minor, major, and major. Let's do that one again. D flat, major, E flat, minor, D flat, seven, major, four chord is major, five chord is minor, A flat, minor, B flat, minor, and then it's major, B major, and then D flat major. Now we can also go chromatically, listen to this. And then we get to B flat minor, and back on the major, flat seven, E flat minor, and D flat minor, oh, D flat major. All right, let's go to D major. D major in second inversion. Major, minor, E minor. And then it's the flat seven. Okay, D major. You have D major in second inversion. E minor, flat seven, all right, D major, second inversion to E minor, to D seven, flat seven, three and five, to major, to minor, to minor and then to major and major. One more time. D major in second version. Major goes to minor, goes to flat seven, goes to major, 
goes to A minor, goes to B minor, and then goes to C major, and goes to D major. And remember the idea that we can go chromatically down, D major, D flat, C, and you can go down again uh, on B minor. Oh, sorry, I just did this. Alright, D major, you have D in second inversion to E minor, to D7, flat 7, 3, and 5, to major, to minor, A minor, B minor in second inversion, C major, and D major. One more time, D, E minor, D7, Flat seven three five major minor B minor C major and D major and that remember you can go chromatically down from these triads D major D flat C then you can go B minor B flat minor A minor and then you're at the four chord is G major. flat 7, E minor, and D in second inversion. Practice those nice and slowly. Let's go to E flat. E flat major in second inversion to F minor. Now we have the flat 7, flat 3, I'm sorry, flat 7, 3, and 5. Let's do that again. E flat second inversion, F minor, E flat seven, goes to major, A flat, so the four chord is major. Minor, the fifth chord is of E flat is B flat minor, goes to minor, the sixth chord, C minor, and then D flat, and then E flat in, se in second inversion, major chords. D flat and E flat are major. Let's do that one more time. E flat, second chord is minor, to E flat seven, flat seven, three, five, to A flat major, the, sec the fourth chord is major. Then you go the fifth chord of the key, minor, B flat minor. Sixth chord is minor, C minor in second version. And then I go up to D flat major and E flat. Remember that you can go chromatically down, E flat, D, D flat, C minor, B minor, B flat. Four chord is major, flat seven, Okay, let's go to E major. E major in second inversion goes to F sharp major. Two chord, I'm sorry, let's do it again. E major goes to F sharp minor, goes to E7. Okay, for E, we have E in second inversion, goes to F sharp minor, goes to E7, flat 7, 3, and 5 of the scale, goes to major 4, A in second inversion, goes to B minor, the fifth chord is minor, the sixth chord, which is G sharp minor, so you have B minor to G sharp minor. again. E major in second inversion to F sharp minor. So major, minor, E7, 
the four chord is major, A major in the second inversion. Fifth chord is minor. Sixth chord, and that's B minor. And the second, uh, sixth chord is minor, C sharp minor. And then it's D major to E major. Let's do that again. E in second inversion. First you get that. Then you go major, minor, flat seven of the scale, three and five, to a major four in second inversion, to minor five, so B minor, minor six, C sharp minor, second inversion, and then D major to E major. And we can come down chromatically. E, E flat, D, and then C sharp minor, C minor, B minor. The four chord is major. Three chord, uh, sorry, the flat seven chord. Flat seven, three, and five. Two is minor, and one. Okay, now let's go to F major. F in second inversion goes to G minor. The next chord is the flat seven, so you have flat seven, three, and five of the scale. The four chord is major. The five chord is minor. The six chord is minor. The, se the seventh chord is major. And then the root again on top. F in second inversion. Let's do that one again. F to G minor. To F7, seven, flat 7, 3, and 5th of an F scale. To major 4 in 2nd inversion, B flat. 5 is minor, C minor. 6 is minor, D minor. The 7th chord is your E flat triad major, 2nd inversion, and F. Once again, we can come down chromatically. F. E triad in second inversion, E flat, the sixth chord, D minor, D flat minor, C minor, the four chord is major, F7, flat seven, three, five, G minor, and major. All right, let's go to F sharp. F sharp in second inversion goes to minor, A minor, goes to flat seven, so flat seven, three, and five, goes to major four, which is B major in second inversion. Then we have minor, minor five, C sharp minor, D sharp minor, goes to major, and goes to major again. So E major to F sharp major. Let's do that again slowly. slowly. So we have F sharp major, goes to G, mi G sharp minor, goes to F sharp seven, flat seven, three and five, goes to major four, B major, goes to minor five. So from an F sharp, uh, major, you go to C sharp minor, D sharp minor, and then next to a major, E major to F sharp. Let's do that one one more time. F sharp, second inversion, major, goes to minor, go to flat seven, goes to major, with B major being the fourth chord, then your minor, five of the scale, which is C sharp minor, D sharp minor, six of the scale and then the last two e major is the seventh major chord in second inversion to f sharp major so let's go backwards let's do the chromatically down f sharp you can go down to f go to e and then you're at your um, e flat minor right which is minor then c sharp minor those two remember are minor minor the four chord is major b major F sharp seven, flat seven, three and five, two, minor, 
A flat minor and second inversion, and root. Let's do this one one more time just to make sure we have it. Major, minor, flat seven, major, minor, minor, major, 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 minor, minor, major, flat seven, minor, major. All right, let's go on to G major. G major goes to A minor, goes to flat seven of the scale, three and five, goes to the four, which is major, minor five, D minor, minor six, E minor, and then a major F, and a G major. Let's do that one again. G major goes to A minor, major, minor, flat seven, three, five, major, minor, minor, major, and major. We come down chromatically, G major, F sharp major, F, then minor, E flat minor, D minor, major four, flat seven, three, five, minor, and major. All right, let's go on to A flat major. A flat major goes to B flat minor. Goes to flat seven, three, five. Flat seven, three and five of an A flat major scale. Goes to major four, which is D flat, which is E flat minor. Goes to F minor. And then guess what? We have a major. G flat major or F sharp major to A flat. Let's do that again. A flat major goes to B flat, right? Major, minor, flat seven, A flat seven, so flat seven, three, and five goes to a major four, minor five, minor six, major seven, and major eight, which is our root. A flat and second inversion. All right, let's go down. A flat can go to G chromatically down to F sharp, and then the, you're at F minor to E minor to E flat minor. You're at D flat, then you're at the flat seven, and then you're at the minor two, and then you're at one again. All right, let's go to A major. A major in second inversion goes to minor. Goes to flat seven, three, five of an A major scale. To a major four. To a minor five. To a minor six. And then a major seven. And then a major eight, which is our A again in second inversion. Let's do that one again slowly. A major goes to B minor, goes to flat seven, three sixths of an A major scale, goes to four chord major, then minor, minor five of the A major scale is E minor, to F sharp minor six, then major seven and eight. Now chromatically coming down, I can do this, A major, goes to A flat, goes to G, goes to F minor, wait, I did that wrong. Okay. All right, A major, we go major, A major in second inversion, goes to minor, goes to flat seven, three, five of the scale, goes to the major four, which is D in second inversion, goes to E minor, to F sharp minor, to G major, and then to A major. Let's do that again slowly. We're gonna go A major in second inversion, 
major goes to minor, B minor. A7, flat 7, 3, 5. Goes to 4 chord, which is major. 5 chord is minor, E minor. 6 chord is minor, F sharp minor. 7 chord is major, G major in 2nd inversion. And the last one is A major in 2nd inversion. Let's come down chromatically. A major goes down to A flat major. Goes to G major. Now we're at F sharp minor. Goes to F minor. Goes to E minor. Then the 4 chord is major. Then the A flat 7, flat 7, 3, 5 to B minor, and then again to A major in second inversion. All right, let's go to B flat major. B flat in second inversion, B flat goes to C minor, which is the second chord. So minor, I'm sorry, let's do that again. All right, B flat in second inversion, we're gonna go major, goes to minor, goes to flat seven, so flat seven of a B flat scale, three and five, goes to major four chord, E flat in second inversion, goes to a minor five, F minor, goes to minor six, G minor, goes to A flat in second inversion, and we end on a major, B flat major in second inversion. Let's do that one again slowly. We're gonna go B flat major in second inversion, C minor, all right, let's do B flat major, all right, B flat, we're going to have B flat in second inversion, major triad, goes to C minor, goes to B flat 7, A flat, D, and F, goes to major, goes to a minor 5, F minor, goes to a minor 6, B flat minor, and then it's A flat major to B flat major. Let's do that again. B flat, second inversion, goes to C minor, goes to B flat 7, flat 7, 3 and 5, goes to the 4 major, 5 minor, F minor, 6 minor, G minor, and major, A flat, and major, B flat. Let's go chromatically down, B flat, and go to A major, to A flat, and then from G minor, chromatically down, F sharp minor, and F minor, major 4, E flat in second inversion, B flat 7, flat 7, 3, and 5 to C minor. B flat in second inversion. All right, let's go to B major. B major in second inversion goes to C sharp minor, goes to B7, flat 7, 3, and 5, goes to a major 4, E major in second inversion goes to a minor 5, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, Right, B major in second inversion goes to C sharp minor, goes to B7, flat 7, 3, and 5, goes to a major 4, goes to a minor 5, F sharp minor, minor 6, G sharp minor in second inversion, A major, 7th chord, second inversion, to B major. Let's do that again very slowly. B major in second inversion. 
goes to C sharp major, C sharp minor. Do that again. B major goes to C sharp minor, goes to B7, flat 7, 3, and 5, goes to the 4 chord, which is major, 5 chord, which is minor, 6 chord, which is minor, then we have the 7 chord is A major, and then B is also major. We can come chromatically down, A goes down to B flat, to A, now we're at G sharp minor, G minor, F sharp minor, four chord is major. The next chord is B7, flat seven, three and five, to minor, and then to major. And let's go back to C just to remind once again how the pattern works. C major goes to minor, goes to flat seven, so you're going to practice these very slowly. C major, D minor, C7, flat 7, 3, 5. Then it's major, minor, minor, major, major. Chromatically down. C, B, B flat triads, major triads in second inversion, and then minor, 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 major, flat seven, minor, and major. Listen to this, I go, So you can just jam out with those triads and get used to playing them in different ways and having fun with the combinations. But the most important thing on this is just the great sound of that second inversion triad. I love to start it sometimes at the top. You can start on the bottom. to mix up your triads. guys now that's the most difficult set of patterns in this, this blues shapes course and I just want to encourage you to slow the video down and just take it one step at a time the most important thing with this lesson is just to really uh, get familiar with that second inversion triad and then notice notice that you can do lots of chromatic passing tones or passing chords as you create the melodies. Just have fun with it and uh, just know that you have all these options as you're uh, harmonizing each particular scale. Have fun with that and I'll see you guys in the next video.